Welcome to the SEAL Expert video presentation. In this video, we are going to show you how to perform a composite leak repair. This repair procedure is typically used for arresting an active pipe leak and performing composite repair to reinforce pipe strength. However, please note that composite leak repair should be designed for a specific repair situation. First of all, measure the pipe diameter or circumference and cut the stainless steel pipe clip to the required size. One set of stainless steel pipe clip can be applied for pipe diameters between 50 mm and 9.7 meters. Slot the end of the adjustable fasteners to one to each end of the stainless steel band. Next, Clean and roughen the pipe surface. Whenever possible, you should use a mechanical power tool, for example, wire brush and sander, to perform surface preparation works. After the surface preparation is completed, the surface should be free of oil, grease and chemicals. In this video, we are using hand tool wire brush and sand belt for illustration purposes. In the oil and gas and offshore industry, surface preparation follows a more stringent requirement. It is necessary to ensure prepared surfaces comply to international standards, for example, ST2 and surface profiles to 60 micron roughness. Depending on the work environment, spark free tools may be required. Use hexagonal screwdriver to connect both ends of the adjustable fasteners. Do not use the flat screwdriver as the tightening strength will not be sufficient. Next, select the SS102 underwater epoxy stick for application on wet or moist surfaces. In this video, we are using the SS102 steel epoxy stick. Cut a suitable amount of epoxy stick. The amount of steel stick used should be at least three times the defect size. Remove the plastic protective cover and mix the two components until the color is uniform. The steel stick should be mixed for approximately five minutes and the texture begins to harden. Apply the steel stick onto one side of the pre-cut stainless steel sheet metal of 0.3 mm or 0.4 mm thickness. Press the stainless steel sheet metal onto the defective location with steel stick being the contact material with the pipe medium. Slide the prepared stainless steel pipe clip onto the sheet metal. Tighten the adjustable fastener and adjust the position ensuring steel stick is sitting directly above the defective location. Press along the edges of the steel stick to ensure good adhesion to the pipe surface. You will take approximately 15 minutes at 30 degrees ambient temperature to attain a tag free curing. After the seal stick is fully cured, observe and ensure that the leak is fully arrested. Cut away the excess portion of adjustable fastener if necessary. Mix the hardener portion of PS102 metal repair party into the resin container for about 5 minutes. If you are mixing the repair party for more than 5 minutes, you will get closer to the pot life and the mixed repair party becomes more viscous. In this video, we have mixed both portions for approximately 5 minutes. Apply the mixed repair party over the pipe section around the entire repair length and pipe circumference. The applied coating thickness should be at least 10 mm over the leak area and 5 mm over the rest of pipe section. Allow the coated repair party to cure for a specific amount of time. Curing time required is dependent on the pipe conditions. After the repair party has been cured to the required time, open the pack of wrap seal fiberglass tape and soak in water for about 10 seconds. 
squeezing the fiberglass tape to ensure water is fully immersed. Remove the wrap seal fiberglass tape and start wrapping around the pipe at about 100 millimeters before the leak location. Wrap the pipe as evenly and as tightly as possible, pulling slightly after each round of wrapping. Apply the entire roll over the pipe surface with at least 50% overlap for the entire repair pipe length. The working time is approximately 30 seconds for each roll of fiberglass tape at 30 degrees pipe surface temperature. After the wrap seal fiberglass tape is fully cured, it will attain approximately 80 Shaw-D hardness. In order to remove the cured fiberglass tape, you will need to saw along two sections of the repaired surface, 180 degrees away from each other. Next, use a chisel and hammer to gently chisel and cut off the fiberglass repair tape. Finally, pry open the fiberglass repair tape using a screwdriver. For more information about our products, visit us at salexpert.com.